So there's about an eighth inch difference from my vent to what your diameter was before on your vents. And so essentially what I'm just doing, instead of getting out like a Sawzall or anything like that, we're just gonna use an X-Acto knife. So we're trying to increase the diameter by an eighth inch. And then you'll notice there's significant difference in the way it looks. You got this piece here on the top, that's the factory one. So there's nothing, it's an open hole. And then we'll have Art explain all the, as Martha calls it, the nerdy stats behind that. Huge nerd. So the other thing, guys, that we always want to be cognizant of is where is the vent placed within the duct, okay? And so this vent is situated towards the inside of the duct. Here you can see the wall of it. The wall of it. If you look back in here, you can't. And so as air comes out of the plenum and into the duct, it, wanna, it wants to push all the air to the outside of that duct run. And so as it's coming down, the majority of the air is out here. The least amount of air is on the inside. And so ideally we have middle placement because if that vent is situated towards the inside or towards the outside, air wants to travel around that duct. And gotcha. so then you get poor volume of airflow. And now by tuning yours, you kind of... I can, we can kind of grab. So I like to have these perpendicular to uh, airflow. So as it's traveling front to back of the RV, I want to grab as much of that air here. But if I'm offset towards the inside, I'm going to angle this towards where the air is on the outside. Makes good sense to me. It's forcing it out. So is there like a standard size of a um, vent? In the There's RV? a lot of different options. So they're not all like the same diameter. They're not so all it's not the like same. you can some just... Are, yeah. Some are four and five eighths. Some are five and a quarter. Some are five inch. Gotcha. Um, some are deeper, right? So some of them don't have a, a uh, uh, as much of an attic space. So that means that the lip that goes up into and connects to the duct is shorter. And so these don't work with all RVs because of that. So it's based on truss size. Gotcha. So far they've worked on, well, we know they'll work on the Valor, the Paradigm, and now the Delta. So if you're an Alliance owner, you're in good shape. These do work. It's like everything, some assembly required. So when you get the air directs, of course you have the vent itself and then you have screws the best part is they already have the white head so you're not going to end up with black brown or silver unless your trailer has that do you change the color based on the trailer or do you they get have, white screws you can have any color you want so long as it's white perfect there you go every option under the sun with white nothing you can't fix with some uh, nail polish right right <laughs> all right are you happy with that if you're happy i'm happy it's all sealed up and yeah. And so as you can yeah. see from a parallel, I angled it towards where the air volume is going to be. Are you talking about up in here, Martha? Come look at right up in there, the fins. 